you, dear listeners. Welcome to a brand new episode of Metal Gear Mondays. I no, that yeah. the title looks different, doesn't it? It's not actually a brand new episode of Metal Gear Mondays. Oh, you're you're right. Yeah, you're absolutely right. So this is the first ever episode of Metal Gear Mondays Revengeance. That's right, baby. Jack is back. <laughs> Load it up. <laughs> Uh, hi, my name is Cole. I am doing for this for the first time, and it, I'm not going to lie, it's kind of weird being a host on a mainline episode, but I am definitely not here alone. I'm here with my beautiful best friend, my boy, Chris Hampton. Howdy ho, folks. And uh, believe it or not, even though what you heard from the last episode, we are not alone. We have a brand new host, don't we, dude? It's true, we do. You know, I think longtime listeners are going to recognize this person. Absolutely. People in the Discord know her. They love her. Aw. It's the one and only. Sam's best friend, Miss Tori Cortez. How are you? What's up? I'm doing just just great. How are you guys doing tonight? Awesome. Doing great. Can't complain. Nobody's going to listen. (laughs) <laughs> so, Tori, a while ago, you you won a trivia contest. <laughs> that I did. <laughs> and, like, we owed you some episodes. Yeah, I remember something like that, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, and, and we don't have to talk about that any further. I'm kidding. <laughs> I haven't uh, been no. praying at my bedside every night since then. Yeah. <laughs> did, you, did you get some sort of action figure, too? Like a... I did. Yeah. It did. yeah, it's um, it's good old Venom Snake. He's sitting behind me, staring down at me right now, making sure I don't fuck this up. <laughs> oh, you're fine. He's judging you. <laughs> so basically, let's throw all the cards on the table, folks. Um, yeah, hold on a second, Cole. I think sure. before we talk, it's time. Oh. Is this the first crispy pop oh, of shit. The Vengeance? It is. Oh my god, and it's a claw. I love it. And now we have the pop. (laughs) Let's do the talk. Let's do the talk. I wish you told me I would have waited on mine. (laughs) Uh, So, with the departure of um, basically everyone from the mainline show um, who started like the show, the original host, Sam, Mm -hmm. Alessio, Isaac, Zach. James, everyone yeah. is a now officially part of the Lale Lule Lo, the, our patriots yeah. who who guide our movements. Starting in 1945, <laughs> or, uh, 1942, when Alessio stormed the beaches, the boss, and gave birth to a baby Sam. Oh my God. <laughs> I didn't know that's how this podcast baby came to be. Oh, wait, no. Cole's Ocelot, right? In this this scenario, so like yeah, I think I'm Ocelot. You're Ocelot. Scenario, yeah. So uh, Alessio gave birth to a baby Cole <laughs> uh, with Sam, Ghost Dad, because he's the spookiest boy. Obviously, right. yeah. All those all those punk rock patches are really shining for him right now. Shining like um, a king. Absolutely a king. Yeah. All of them. All of them kings. Mm-hmm. We all got together and we talked and we decided to we did not want this show to end. I know I personally have been having an amazing time being on it, um, helping out with it, talking to fans, playing the video games, even though Warren Minix put me through hell with Observer. I still enjoyed it. But we didn't want the show to end with Sam and Zach's uh, departure. And so we all got together, and we decided to basically do this, what you're hearing right now. Uh, Metal Gear Monday's Revengeance is, can I say it? Yeah, you can say it. We're doing a hard reboot of the show, folks. Yeah. So for everyone who has been kind of clamoring for more Metal Gear Solid-centric Kojima uh, content, you're going to get it. We are doing a full hard reboot of the show, and we wanted to bring on our friend, Tori, to uh, come on this journey with us. Here I am. Yeah, I think, you know, when we think about Metal Gear Mondays and just communicating, because we believe in transparency, that's why we are having this conversation right now. And, exactly. Um, we have talked with Alessio. We've talked with Sam. 
we've talked with Zach, like they are all still involved um, mm -hmm. as sort of like a philosopher's guild, if you will, who yeah, are yeah. providing feedback, that sort of thing, but just not involved with the day-to-day -day operation. And, you know, we kind of just lost our way after death training like that. That. <laughs> it was hard for everybody. It was it was rough. It, it was, was really really rough. Yeah. Uh, so I'm not gonna outright say that death training killed Mel Gear Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> it wounded me in such a way that I found it hard to carry on. So it, I'm just throwing that out there. It tried to, I think. It did. Um, but we see Metal Gear Mondays on the whole as kind of two things. One, it's a document of these games, how they were made, and the people who made them, right? And that's, like, the things that we have, the interviews, the outer op episodes, things of that nature. And the second part is this analysis piece, right, where you have people who care a lot about these games and the format and the medium and all that are providing a critical analysis as they play through in a book club-style format. So what is staying the same is the document piece. Like, that's still here. That's not going anywhere. And we're going to continue that legacy, you know, and adding For to sure. that document with new interviews. We're very plugged into that. And in, the quality of those are, are, is not going to change, basically. No. But the analysis piece is what's being rebooted here. Because it's three people who have never talked about these games before, and now we're coming to them with new eyes and new perspectives and new voices. Yeah. Yeah. I extremely well said, bud. So with that being said, we are going to be doing this more of an analysis of the games as a whole. If I believe Alessio once said it in the, one of the last reboots, if you're looking for someone to basically have a, uh, a strategy guide for you, uh, this is not going to be that podcast. What we are going to be doing is taking deeper dives mm -hmm. into the lore of Metal Gear Solid mm -hmm. and the Metal Gear Solid ethos. We're going to be talking about character analysis. We're talking, you know, actual analysis on the times mm -hmm. of when these games took place, what's going on in the world around them. Mm -hmm. We're going to be talking about just different themes in these games. You're still going to be getting, you know, that fun little commentary out of all of us, mm -hmm. that entertainment value we're hoping to still keep for you. But we're going to be more focused in a little bit. I would, I, correct me if I'm wrong here, folks. No, and I think the more focused in piece, too, is like on top of this just book club style analysis of the games that we're going to redo are these like deep dives into specific characters and events within the, the franchise series, right? Yes. Like, Tori yes. uh, actually had the first suggestion of we're going to do a character analysis episode, and, um, you know, it's something that Tori's really excited to talk about, and we never really considered this perspective before of, like, as far as putting episodes together, so I'm pretty excited about it, too. Yeah. Yeah. You wanna give a, do, you wanna, do we want to give a sneak peek real quick? Tori, you want to talk about it? Sure, yeah. I um, actually was inspired to do this after a um, friend of the show, Alice Chang, came on and gave her perspective. I was really excited to hear her thoughts on Metal Gear in general as I think one of few women that plays and enjoys the series. I definitely know that, that we're not alone. I know you other lady Metal Gear fans are out there, so I want to bring that perspective, and I want to start diving into motivations, psyches, um, strategies, being all these uh, rad women of the Metal Gear series. So that's kind of, that was my jumping off point. That was the thing I thought would be the most exciting to talk about right off the bat. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna be we're gonna be diving in to some character analysis of some of the women in the games. Maybe you're gonna talk about we're gonna talk about the boss. Maybe we talk about uh Sniper Wolf. And we talk about some other people mm -hmm. you, you you might not be uh thinking about. Yeah, you know. A little Meryl in there. A little, little Meryl sunny. up in your life. Ooh. A little bit of a little, Sniper uh, Wolf by your side. Yeah. <laughs> a little Mei Ling. A little <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, those um, Kojima girls. Kojima girls. Yeah. But, um, no, I, I'm, I'm pretty excited. and Yeah. Uh, we're still here. We're still doing it. We're going to continue to do it, mm-hmm. and we hope you stay with us. Yeah. I think we're also going to be presenting some new things here as well. Right, Cole? Yes. Yes. With this reboot, we are also restructuring I know this is not going to be popular, but a little bit of everything. Website is uh, our social medias. They have been quiet. That is our fault. They will not be here very soon. They're going to look a little bit different. You're going to see some new logos popping up there. We're also going to be uh, restructuring the Patreon tiers. We have, personally, I've, I've dropped the ball on that one, but we're going to be restructuring the Patreon to give you, the listeners, and those who deem this uh, content worthy of monetary mm-hmm. uh, funds, uh, we're going to be giving you guys a little bit extra. So at the dollar tier, I believe everything is staying the same. You're still getting access to our Discord. Mm-hmm. You're still getting uh, that a uh, little bit of a discount at bit.ly slash MGM store. Uh, for all that cool merchandise. Oh, yeah. And we'll still be keeping those fresh merch designs as well. Oh, yeah. And oh, yeah. probably have some new there. ones. Yeah. Maybe with, a, maybe with a new logo. $2, you're still going to be able to get access to uh, our the secondary podcast, the Patriot Club. That's staying the same. It's going to be myself, Chris, and Tori. We're all just going to be hanging out, talking. Here's where uh, things are going to switch up, however. At the $5 tier, we know we have fallen behind on this, but we want to get back at get back at it. We're going to be doing uh, Hangouts again. Uh, so if you are pledged at the $5 level uh, here very soon, we're going to be, um, once we have everything restructured, uh, sending out basically a schedule for these Hangouts. We also understand that we've got not just American listeners. We've also got folks from across the pond. So we're going to be working with a schedule that allows us to kind of talk with everyone and hang out with everyone. Um, So look out for that on the horizon. You're also going to be getting your thank you videos. We're going to be working on those. Those will be coming out quarterly. And of course, you'll be getting everything at the tiers below. Um, Then we have one last tier at the $10 tier. We are going to be doing a vidcast. Hell yeah, we are. And this is where you come in. At that $10 level, we're going to be putting out a poll on our Patreon with a list of video games. This vidcast will be another kind of Games Club podcast that we do monthly, where you, the listeners, get to decide what we play and what we talk about. So if that is something that interests you, we really, really would, A, Mm -hmm. thank you for going to patreon.com slash Metal Gear Mondays. Uh, donating at whatever level you feel, if you would like to get in on that. And then one last thing, uh, as far as video content is concerned, I mentioned it in the uh, episode with Warren on Observer, where we were wrapping up. We're starting a Twitch channel um, where we're going to be uh, streaming. Hell It'll yeah. be myself. I know Tori is ho- planning on hopping in there mm-hmm. as well. And Cole, you said you were going to play every single game in the um, uh, the the scary space game series, right? Oh, sure, yeah, yeah, no, for sure. I definitely, uh, definitely said that. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I remember you having that on wax. We'll be yeah. we'll be kicking it off on midnight at Halloween <laughs> with um, Cole playing Resident Evil Seven VR, and we'll be able to hear Cole, but Cole won't be able to hear us. So tune in for that. Yeah, <laughs> that's not actually going to happen. We're not going to torture No, that's like definitely that. not going to fucking happen. Uh, <laughs> but we will be streaming. Is shy about spooky things. Yeah. yeah, I'm real shy about spooky things. You guys can keep all that shit to yourself. Um, but we will be streaming. So if that is something that you're interested in, that's not behind a Patreon tier. That's just we want to give that to you. That's a little bit of extra content for you to hop in, interact with the hosts, uh, if we're playing a spooky game to make fun of me, please, I need it. But yeah, we just wanted to come on here to introduce Tori. So really, Tori, 
Couple questions. Yeah. What's that? How did you first come to Metal Gear? Good question. And one I'd happily answer right now. Um, yeah, when I was like, I don't know, 10, 11, maybe, mm -hmm. I think, I was one of those weirdos who came to the series with Metal Gear Solid 2 and thus uh, didn't have that awesome slash terrible um, Kojima surprise <laughs> from Metal Gear Solid 1 to Metal Gear Solid 2. I honestly um, envy you. I really do. It was interesting. Uh, basically, the story is uh, my older brother was always very into it, and I think I'd seen him play it maybe one time before I decided I need to jump in there and, and play that game. And as I said, it was with Metal Gear Solid 2. So, yeah, I, I finished the game with a lot of his help. Uh, maybe decided to finish it a second time on my own. Eventually went back to Metal Gear Solid 1. And then just, I've, I've been a fan ever since then. So, um, big shout out to Chase. Um, hopefully he'll get to listen to this soon. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the story. Do you have a, do you have a favorite Metal Gear? Oh, Cole, you know I'm with you on on snake eater there yeah my man. i can't help it it's all, like i love i genuinely have love for each game and everything that they bring to the series even the ones that you know maybe are lacking in story mm -hmm. or in um do you have a favorite entry uh favorite entry in the series yeah besides snake eater yeah, I guess we have to make that a rule now, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you want to be on the show, your favorite game has to be um, has to be Metal, Metal Gear Solid Three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I will tell you though, I really was surprised by how much I liked Peace Walker. Mm. I liked the the mechanics in that one um, much more than I thought it would because mm. Metal Gear Solid Peace was Walker's kind of my game. introduction into gaming in general. So I was used to that one yeah. very cinematic style of gameplay yeah i think gameplay wise the best game in the series is like ground zeros okay and then i kind of waffle on my favorite being like metal gear solid and metal gear solid three yeah but like yeah as far as story goes yeah as far as story goes and i, I think like okay. it's interesting because you and i kind of came to the games in a similar way and it was like a very fundamental part of our childhood you know right meanwhile i was like making back alley deals to get metal gear solid one traded for a couple like <laughs> like <laughs> ps1 games yeah uh, <laughs> like cole is deep throat yeah yeah Diz i thought that was there. gonna be a very different sentence <laughs> <laughs> you know with back alley deals and stuff yeah and then chris has a deep throat mm. um <laughs> but like i said we always want to be transparent with you and we're hoping that we do the best for you guys with this relaunch old episodes are still going to be there uh so if you we if you're hearing this you should go back and listen to some of them like go listen to our boys yeah um Take a trip down memory lane. Yeah, yeah. Uh, send all the love that you can to our guys, uh, Alessio, Sam, Isaac, uh, Zach. They're still here. They're still rocking with us, and we really do appreciate all of you still listening to us as we're going through this transitional phase. Um, Chris, anything else you want to add here, man? Yeah, I just like think that... Um... You know, ultimately, our goal here is to not just continue, but elevate the quality a bit and um, carry on the tradition, the will of the Sorry. boss, right? That's, yeah. that's what we're here for. The will, that's, that's, we're trying yeah. to see through the will of the boss. And ultimately, I think we interpret that as being there for our community. And that's the most important aspect Agreed. of this for us. For sure. You know. For sure. I mean, none of us are making any money off of this or getting rich. Yeah, there's yeah. no flaw. There's definitely no there's, philosopher's there's legacy. There's no philosopher's legacy at all. <laughs> uh, the real philosopher's legacy is the friends that we make Aww. along the way. Aww. Yeah. I love so, you, Bobby. That's what we're trying to keep in mind here. And, like, 
we want this show to be like not just our show, but your show. Like, so if there's something that you want on the show, just reach out to us and let us know. Yeah. DMs are always open, as well as uh, the website, Uh, the contact. Absolutely. Folks, thanks for joining in on this little um, introduction to the new version of Metal Gear Mondays, Metal Gear Mondays Revengeance. Mm -hmm. Uh, You know what? Tori? Yes? Where can people find you on the internet? Uh, You can find me at basically some variation of young neil just about everywhere um i'm in the discord YMG, right as young neil um i'm oh, on Tori. psn as young neil. is that a scott pilgrim reference <laughs> you know it is chris you know it is <laughs> uh, it is a scott pilgrim reference that's why wow. sam and i are best friends dude actually that might be uh, that might actually be true i think he said to me that the first reason he decided to call me his best friend was that we bonded over Scott Pilgrim and something else. I don't know, Sam, I'm going to clarify that. Best friend stuff. <laughs> I'll check that reference. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, PSN, Young Neil, um, Twitter, Young Neil. I'm, like, semi-active on that. Um, I'm usually just retweeting shit that I find funny or interesting. Um, sometimes I have an original thought, and I will tweet it. But it's, they're good. you know, they're good. I'm not as active there. Um, Instagram, again, some variation of Young Neil that I can't remember. Dope, Chris. Where can people find you on the internet? Uh, some variation of Chris Hampton. I I. That's Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn. Uh, PSN, Xbox. That's Proto Dude. So is Steam. You want to play Civ? Oh, yeah, I'm know. on Steam, too. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> Add me on Steam. Will do. And I'm the only one who's complicated. Um, Instagram is Subterranean Homesick Brews. Twitter is I am Cole Duncan. Twitch is Cole Duncan. PSN is I am also, is also I am Cole Duncan. Um, keep looking for all of us out there. We're going to have some brand new episodes coming to you. Ooh, fresh and ready and hot. They're going to be coming to you real quick. Like a tasty za. Five dollar hot and ready. Some, some tasty zas. Someone get that uh, the Spider Man Two music queued up here. I'm not gonna do it. Uh, <laughs> you know what? We do we we need a new we need a new sign off. Yeah, we do. Shit. I didn't even think about this until right now. Um, well, hey, you guys, try this one out. Okay. okay. Five dollar hot and ready. No. Crickets. <laughs> Five dollar hot and ready. <laughs> Five dollar hot it and ready. It has nothing to do with the show, but it sounds fun, doesn't it? It's a good. It's a good one. I like it. Should we let her rip? There's a think, good one. Should we let let a five dollar hot and ready <laughs> rip? I think it's time for Jack to let her rip. <laughs>